Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. And today's video is going to be a, another kind of like advice video. And I have done one before and I got really good feedback from it. So I decided to film another one. This time, instead of kind of just doing my own thing, I decided to take to Twitter and ask you guys what you wanted to hear advice about. And someone suggested that I give you guys advice on boys and high school and that kind of stuff. And I thought that that was very fitting because I am in my last year of high school and I feel like I'm pretty experienced on the topic. I was going to leave this kind of high school experience video until the end of the year once I finish school. But since someone asked me to do it now, I thought, why not? So first things first, I'm going to start off with the topic of um, like high school and getting through high school and stuff like that. When I was in year maybe 7, 8 and 9, I was hanging out with a different group of friends to the group of friends that I have now. And at the time, like in year 7 and 8, you know, I really enjoyed, like, I loved all those girls, like they were my best friends. And then they started doing things that I didn't want to do. They started going to parties and other stuff like that. And I didn't really want to do any of that, so I kind of started to get, like, excluded from the group. And, I mean, I didn't really have a problem with moving to a different group, just purely because I didn't want to do the things that those girls were doing. So I thought that I would take myself away from that, and I absolutely love the group of friends that I am with now, and I couldn't be happier. So if you are in the same position, and, like, your friends, your friends aren't doing things that you want to do or they're pressuring you into doing things that you don't want to do I suggest you stay far far away from those kind of people those are not the kind of people that you want to be hanging around in high school and those group of girls are considered uh, the popular group and most people would think like oh why would you want to not be in the popular group but they like I had no interest in being friends with them really like towards the end of year um, 9 the beginning of year 10 I'm currently in year 12, which is my last year of high school, and, you know, people say that high school is, like, it's like the best years of your life and all this stuff, and, I mean, I guess it kind of is in a way, and people say that, like, oh, once you leave high school, you're going to miss it so much and wish that you could go back, but I cannot wait to finish. I mean, like, yeah, I'm going to miss my friends and, like, seeing them every single day, but, I mean, I'm still going to see them once I leave school. Like, we're obviously going to do things outside of school and still keep in touch with each other. But, like, I'm not going to miss waking up at ridiculous hours in the morning, going somewhere that, like, to study subjects that I'm not really interested in. But, saying that, high school and education is important. And if you want to go to university or college, you do need to work very hard. And being in year 12, I'm smack bang halfway through year 12. I have, I have about five months to go. And like, I have three major works to do. One for visual arts, one for my society and culture class, and one for my community and family studies class. And they are a lot of work. And it can get hard to, like juggle everything but you need to time management is key when you're in high school if you have like hobbies like if you dance or play a sport or do whatever outside of school you need to make sure that like you can keep up with that and can keep up with school it's kind of like a bit contradicting what I'm saying like school is important and it is important to get an education but it's not going to be the end of the world if you do not get the highest mark in your HSC. My biggest tip that I've gotten from everyone who I know who has finished school so far is do not stress. Stressing is probably the worst thing that you could do. Like, I keep saying, yeah, high school is important, but it is not that important that you need to, like... This video is not going to make any sense. Basically, moral of this section of the video is to just try your hardest and if your hardest is 60-70% in an exam, that's great. So this next portion of the video is going to be about boys. The girl on Twitter who asked me about this was, I feel like, more specific, like she wanted to know about boys and stuff in high school. Now, it is not important in any way, shape or form to have a boyfriend while you're in high school. Yeah, it's nice to have a boyfriend, but it's not important. Like, you can wait until you get out of high school to have a boyfriend. And I personally like to say that I've never had a boyfriend. I mean, I have had, like, boyfriends in, like, 
year seven and eight that only lasted for about like a few weeks. I don't consider them as proper relationships and I don't like to think about them because I don't know what I was doing back then. Certain people have like asked me am I a lesbian because I haven't had a boyfriend and yeah I get that they might have been joking but it kind of annoys me. Like first thing, who cares if I am a lesbian? If I was a lesbian, I'm not. But, like, there's nothing wrong with that. I have no problem with same-sex couples or anything like that. Two, I'm not a lesbian just because I haven't had a proper, like, a proper boyfriend. It's not that important to have a boyfriend while you're in... With saying that, um, a lot of girls always ask me, how do I get this boy to like me? You know, I really like this guy, what can I do? Like... I don't know what to say to you girls, like if you really really like a guy and he doesn't like you back for who you are and you feel like you have to change or like do something to make them like you, then that's not the kind of guy that you want. You don't want to change anything about you for a guy. And if you girls think that you need to like change something about your appearance or your personality to impress a guy, then you are wrong. You are so wrong. You don't want to attract a guy that only wants you for a specific part of your body. You want to attract a guy that wants you for you. So, with saying that, um, I don't know how long this video is going to go for and I don't know how helpful it was for you, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you learnt something from it. I really, really love doing these advice videos, so if you have anything else at all that you want advice on, let me know in the comments. Um, tweet me a suggestion, 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 or you can even comment on my Instagram photos or whatever. I'll have all my social media links down in the description bar, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.